first we need to get a teach pendant. So turn on the teach pendant and go to select. There's a program called TouchUp. So first thing we need to make a copy of this program. Uh, again, go to next. Uh, I already demonstrated this on the first on the previous part. F1 copy. So we will see that's the original name touch up. We want to make a change on this one. So that's a backspace. You can see here backspace. You can use this to de remove all the letters. And uh, we want type in, for example, use my name, uh, M. John. So I want to use uppercase. So right now it's the number one words. So I want to use the second method, uppercase. We have the M Z H A N G and enter and copy OK. Yes, that's the new program. We copy it, open it. Once we open the program, we can first to do the test run. We don't have to run in the step, so we can just continue to run. So press shift forward. So what you see on the robot as is quickly goes through all the program. Right? But the robot doesn't move. That because notice here it's add symbol P1, P2. And then if you go to next page, P3 And all the positions, they all have, they all have the add symbol. So that means all the positions record in the in this robot in this program is here. Right now, you add the positions for all the record locations. All right. So that's that's normal. You don't see any movement on the robot, but uh, the program being executed. So that's your task. That's your, your job to change the positions recorded in this program to go to the corner one, pick on the corner, and then drop it on the center. Right. So if you read this part of the the uh, description on the lab, uh, so pick the white stick from the corner and drop it into the center. So that's what you need to do. Uh, I'm going to demonstrate 2.3 because this is very important guidelines uh, for the pick drop and approach positions. Uh, let's do that. I already demonstrated that all the positions are recorded as the one currently robot position, right? So you need to make a change. What we learned from the previous section, but this time uh, we can go into the step mode, shift forward, forward, and if you are happy with this home position, you don't have to uh, change it, right? Don't worry about that. Uh, keep going. And that's gonna go into the approach. So you can see long, uh, on line number 10. So that's P2 approach for pick. So we need to get closer to the corner pin. All right. That's in the same location as home. We want to make a change. And now we need to change coordinate. Change to world and Go down a little bit. Go to our right a little bit. So yeah, right here I want you pay attention. All right. So lots of people got the uh, movement, uh, the robot movement all twisted, because we like what I did. But when I try to move the robot to the right hand side, you can see the arm rotate because the angle of this uh, tooling. 
So if you keep going on the right, the axis number four will be twisted opposite up upside down, right? That's not good. If you keep doing like that rotation, your robot will have problem later because axis number four is being twisted to the limit. You don't have lots of room to play with. Then you will run into uh, the position fault. So what we will do, we don't have to always jog robot in roll, right? Remember we learned that we can also jog robot in joint. In this situation, you can jog the robot in joint. So number two, if you go All right, so I want to make number four back a little bit. That way. And I want to change number five. Go down a little bit. And if you move number two plus, that's gonna go forward. and go down a little bit go forward so same way we can move the robot closer to the stack right in the same time i maintain this number four if you don't uh, know exactly what i'm talking about you can see here go into the position window you go to joint, you look at number four. Right now I have minus three. So I can even make a okay. So I can even make a closer to zero. Go to edit, you go back to the program. So now if uh, you change number six, okay. So that's more square up with the X and Y and Z. And if you go to the further down, and uh, I think now we can uh, change to world, try in the world jogging, and uh, go to positive Y. Yeah, this time it's better. Okay, go down a little bit from the side. You can see uh, we want to rotate back a little bit. So if you familiar with the right hand rule, the second right hand rule, we need jog around Y and also negative Y rotation straight out here okay and if you look at closer drag around the pin go back a little bit on the X on the X you said go to Y a little bit Not too fast we can slow down a little bit. Okay, go down a little bit. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. So roughly, uh, we can use, we can roughly touch up the approach. This is the approach for the pick. So if you want, we can even move front a little bit so on the left hand out this is what I mean touch up this approach roughly so first by rough I mean we don't have a very accurate reference uh, so that's why we can only uh, preliminary touch up the position for the approach and then later on we can refine the position once we touch up the real peak position right just 
uh, bear with me. I can show you uh, what I mean by this. So let's go back to the program on here. So roughly, I think we are happy with this as approach. So highlight here, shift, touch up. And new ID, no, same thing. We want keep using the same number, right? Press no and record it. So uh, if you cursor on here, right now we are at approach. The next position is P3. Uh, if you shift forward, remember this P3 is recorded as the home position, like all the way up there, right? So that's far away from the destination. You don't want to do that. So you already know that's not the good position. We can directly highlight here and then straight go to the menu override, menu jogging, because we're we already close here. If you shift forward, that's going to move the TCP back to the top, right? So remember that, right? So I already mentioned that from the beginning. So now we can get down a little bit. We're getting close to the stick and we see the front, not too bad, but the gripper is a little bit twist, twisted. In the world, you can jog around Z. If you remember what we talk about, we can rotate around positive rotation around Z. And speed up a little bit, 5%. You can see that being twisted and uh, being squared. Okay. And going down a little bit. Oh, not too much. Too much. Go up. So uh, on the left, touch up. This is the peak position. Now, that's the important part we, I want you to, to learn on here. Remember, we rough touch up on here. And we call that rough touch up because we don't have a very good reference. But when we touch up this peak position, we have the white pin as a reference. Right? We can get very good uh, location on the peak position. Once we get the once after we record the peak position, we can retouch up, refine the location on the approach. So before do that, we need to move the cursor to highlight 10, line number 10. And then in the world coordinate, straight up. So that you know that's positive Z, go up. So then we can retouch up this as approach. Right. So that is the one of the important skills I want you to learn. Right? So line 10, line number 10 is the approach. We roughly touched up and we have very accurate position on the peak with line 12. We need to move the cursor to line 10 to highlight here. Now we go back to the teach pendant jogging. We are in road and straight up straight up that means this approach position is perfectly lined up with with your pig so now shift touch up and answer no so then you record here so let us the second time you touch up this approach so if you finish uh, finish this part you can Shift forward, you add approach, then you will see that go into the peak position. After the peak position, close gripper, and then return to the approach. Forward, you can see that go back to P2. That's exactly what we record, right? So this is the demonstration for the peak. You can imagine that you can do the same thing for the draw. So you pick from the corner and drop to the center.